Hi everyone, welcome back to the Storytime family. How are you doing today? I hope you've been well and taking good care of yourself and your family. Today we have a book called The Perfect Hat by Zoha Bukhari. Let's check it out. The Perfect Hat once upon a time, there was a land where it snowed all year long, and snowmen roamed all big and strong. A few had scarves, and a few had mittens, but all of them wore hats, styled with a ribbon. They wore the hats during the day, and even at night, when they slept. Tall and elegant, they wore them on their heads. Among all the snowmen, with all the tall black hats, little Boo, the snowman, wanted a different hat. Boo asked the other snowmen why everyone wore the same black hats several times. Each time he was told, because the hats fits just right. Since they had worn the black hats from the very start, they wore the only hats in their hearts. It was clear there was no room for any other hat in the land. Boo felt alone because he still wanted a different hat, something grand. He wanted his hat to be one of a kind. The trouble was, where could he find? Boo searched high and low, but all he could see around him were tall hats with a bow. One day Boo went on a walk, and he saw a small bear who stumbled on a rock. The bear fell down and hurt his arm and scratched his hand. Boo quickly went to his side to help him stand. Will you help me carry my things to my cave? The bear asked, crying in pain. Boo agreed happily and asked for his name. My name is Teddy the bear, and my cave is not too far from that tree over there. Along the way, Boo told Teddy about his search for a new hat. Teddy excitedly announced, Teddy excitedly announced, I might be able to help with that. When they reached Teddy's cave and went inside, Boo was so surprised he could not believe his eyes. There were so many hats, they covered the entire wall. There were all kinds of different hats, large and small. Some hats were made of jelly, while others were so smelly. Some hats had colors so bold, while others had some funky-looking mold. There were hats made of gold, while some were filled with holes. Some hats had animal ears, while others seemed to just disappear. Choose any hat you wish for helping me, Boo. Teddy insisted on giving Boo a hat as a thank you. Boo looked around, deciding which one to pick when he suddenly saw a beautiful bright red hat sitting on a pile of sticks. The bright red hat that caught Boo's eyes, for some reason, reminded him of his grandma's red apple pie. Boo looked forward to eating her red apple pie every summer. He wanted to show his grandma right away. She would love the bright red color. This one, said Boo, dazzled by the hat. Call me if you need more hats in the future, Teddy said, as he placed the hat in Boo's hand. Boo thanked Teddy and prepared to leave for home with his new hat. He could not wait to show every snowman in the land. Come again any time, Teddy waved goodbye as Boo left for the town square. As he passed other snowmen on his way back, 
everyone he saw would stare. As Wu reached the town, he wore the red hat on his head, so proud. In just a few minutes, the bright red hat gathered a big crowd. At first, nobody said anything. Everyone was quiet. Wu told them not to judge until they tried. Some of the snowmen tried the new hat, hesitant of the change. And to their surprise, the hat felt cozy and not at all strange. The snowman liked the new hat, and now Boo did not feel so alone, because now everyone wanted a hat of their own. Everyone wanted colorful, funky, and different designs, both large and small. Luckily, Boo knew just who to call. Very soon, Teddy had brought hats for everyone to wear. The snowmen were so happy with the unique designs, all so rare. There was room for hats different than all the tall black hats at last, and little Boo was so happy that he found the perfect hat. And that was the perfect hat. How about you? Do you like hats? Do you have the perfect hat? If you enjoyed this book and would like to own a copy, the links to purchase it are in the description below. Do give us a like and subscribe if you haven't, and click on the bell for more stories like this. Thanks so much for reading with us today. We'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye bye.